Well, Taurus, the astrology is a bit challenging. And by challenging, I mean literally challenging because your ruling dignitary Venus is in the middle of some pretty intense squaring. So let's get into the details. And if you don't know what that means, I will explain it to you. My name is Michelle, and this is Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Taurus, this is your weekly tarot card reading, your week ahead tarot card reading, and astrology summary for Taurus sun, moon, and rising sign. This is your video. So you take the energy that I described to you, where it, how it resonates, where it resonates, however it resonates for you. And if you're finding that this video is your sun sign video and it's not resonating, then take a look at your rising sign video and your moon sign video because a lot of times you can relate better to those. Um, they're good to check in on anyway, every week. And if you love my content, please do remember to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. Remember this, there's always an extended reading and that link is down below in the description box. I'll pin it to the top of the comment section. I'll also put it right above here so that you can easily click on it toward the end of the video. Taurus, yes, you can read my shirt. Hey, Mercury, can you chill? So Mercury retrograde is in full effect. Um, we will actually, Mercury will go direct next week, but for right now, guys, Mercury is in retrograde. And what does that mean? That means communication glitches or technical glitches, communication, misunderstanding, misfire. The fact that Mercury is also square to Chiron means that a lot of times, a lot of things could be miscommunicated because people are hearing what was said in the past that hurt them and they haven't really gotten over it. And so maybe what was said right now actually wasn't so bad, but because stuff had built up, pain was still there from the past, there is, it, it the fuse is shorter. So why am I telling you this? Because for, Basically, after the middle of this week, uh, Venus, your ruling dignitary, is going to be semi-square to Mercury retrograde. So this is definitely impacting. Could be your finances, could be just you, yourself, your person, and the changes that you're trying to make to your life. Because in the beginning of this week, Venus is going to be squared to the nodes, which means you're doing a kind of personal internal check-in of have I gotten far enough in, in life or, and where am I going and are these changes going to work for me, for me? Venus, your ruling dignitary, is square to Uranus, which is plop in the dead center. It's 14 degrees Taurus. So there's a sense of am I changing what I value? Do I care about the same things that I used to care about? And how easy will it be for me to let go of what I used to care about if in fact people still expect me to care about those same things. So there is challenges here. And especially when it comes to any kind of challenge changes you're trying to make to your life and communications really being difficult this week. Now, for those of you who are mid Tauruses, so I would say, um, and, and no, say, say May 4th to 12th or 14th, something like that. This is actually going to be, um, th this has been a, this has been an interesting past year for you. And it, and this year starts out pretty strong as well. Same way. Why? Because Uranus is conjunct your natal sun, which means that things are strange. Things are weird. Things are surprising you. What you're good at is surprising you. What you have passion for is surprising you. Maybe who you're attracted to is surprising you. And the thing is this, especially with Mercury retrograde and all these miscommunications, the truth is it's, it's, it's surprising other people too. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if all you Tauruses are feeling this, but it's going to be especially heavy for those of you that are born in the dates that I just gave you because Uranus this week is also trying to Mercury retrograde, which means that it's almost like trying to put people off and the surprises are like, like intentionally messing with you or people could be intentionally messing with you. And that could always have to do with stuff that's coming up from the past, stuff, that, that stuff that's been said, um, stuff that needs to be still worked through, uh, glitches that may be irritating, but you, they've gotta be addressed. All of those things could come as a serious surprise to you, but also a real revelation and inspiration and sort of like an aha moment about finally being able to understand and get clear on uh, figure something out. 
So there's good and bad to everything, right? Let's get into the cards, guys. I wrote my little notes for you after that astrology summary. Um, yeah, there is some disappointment. There's some disappointment, maybe especially about the way that things worked out with a job or how hard you tried to make things work out with some sort of role or that you've been you've been pursuing some efforts or energies, especially creative energies. There has been a sense of disappointment. The Five of Cups is here. I'll always show you the cards, guys. Um, the Five of Cups is here. And then we have Temperance trying to make disappointments from the past work out, trying to kind of not alleviate, yeah, trying to use them, trying to make them functional, uh, figuring out how to make something that disappointed you in the past actually be able to be okay. And then we have the hermit because you know what? It takes some alone time. This is also Virgo energy. So there's a sense of, yes, the, the past is coming up and this may have started back in Sagittarius season. Um, the past is coming up and it's going to be requiring some hard work. Um, it's going to be requiring long-term dedicated work. If you're involved with a Virgo, especially, there is a sense of someone needs peace. Someone needs you to work or see your efforts in order to make peace with a situation because they are very much still disappointed, happy birthday, Doug Denny, about stuff that happened in the past or ways that you maybe let them down or maybe you're disappointed in them right so it's like you're still working through this this could also be a sense of the healing of somehow both temperance and the hermit are here to help you heal disappointments from the past there are two cards that came out in the past let's let's oh oh three okay you struggled a whole lot and you didn't want to give up you felt like maybe you were backed up against the wall in terms of what you believed in verse, versus what other people around you believed in. And that could be belief in yourself, that could be belief in social or political views. You take it where it resonates. And then we have um, the King of Cups. So there clearly was a lot of passion here and maybe this was a sense of, of people trying to fight you when it came to how you felt about, how you felt about someone. Maybe this is the King of Cups, like maybe, always having to justify or rationalize your feelings even though your feelings were very strong and perhaps they were very strong for this person and then this is ace of, of swords this seems to be a beautiful moment in the past where your emotions and were actually you defended yourself you defended your emotions you made things clear or somebody made things clear to you and it ended up working out really well for you um you ended up unless you were combating um, some King of Cups. What is a King of Cups? King of Cups is a masculine water sign. So masculine doesn't have to be male at all, but it is masculine. It is progressive. It is somebody who is assertive and does things and take, takes initiative and they are a creator. So, um, and they usually are a leader. So, um, a leader, not because of it's masculine, but because it's the king. It's, it's, it says that this is, this was an older person who older as an uh, over 35 that was good at something, did something, but you were at odds with this person. Ace of swords is maybe in fact, there was some sense of you, your anger, you wanted to slay them or you wanted to impress them or you needed to get their attention or get through to them. Okay. So why is that coming up from the past? It's because this is what disappointed you and the disappointment you're still looking at. And this is what the universe is trying to get you to sort of talk about, hash it out, and work it out now. This is the hermit energy saying that maybe things have been stagnated or um, sort of subverted or or you kind of just, they, you did, they hadn't been addressed. They kind of went subterranean for a while. Um, but ultimately this is a sense of, this is what you have to work on finding peace and tranquility with this disappointing aspect in the past with this, this person who you just always felt you needed to defend yourself to. Um, and you felt you did, you felt like you know, in some ways you proved yourself to them. Um, but there's still some disappointment here. There's still some heartache. Let's get into maybe trying to understand what that is what what is this five of cups why is it here what what does it mean um 
it was an invest, I don't know, there was something regarding an investment, something that you figured your ships would come in, so it could also be payment. This, I gotta tell you, this could have, because Venus also rules finances, this could have something to do with payment. And you were sitting there and you were expecting payments to come in or your ships to come in or yourself to do really well and have a really good turnaround from whatever this maybe creative project you were working on with this person was. But now that the funds come in, it's almost like, it's almost like maybe you don't want, like they don't want to talk to you about it or they're not interested in, in reconnecting with you or working with you or the profit that's come in has been extremely disappointing. And you're like, wait, what's this? I'm not going to settle on this because this isn't what I deserve. I deserve more. I deserve better. So that's really interesting. All this stuff. Let, hold on. Let's get a moon card. <sighs> Taurus. Let's get a moon card, balance spirituality and practicality. So there is a sense of maybe having an exaggerated sense of what the value was to begin with, and maybe that wasn't practical, but there was also a sense of expecting too much or hoping too much, or, or maybe you, you, it's like, it's like, the way that you saw somebody or that the way that you saw an opportunity was not realistic, right? And it's time to release negative energy. And that's kind of what it is. This sense of having somebody on a pedestal always breaks somebody's neck. And it's got to do with the situation that I was describing. So if you need to rewind it, go ahead and rewind. But I'm gonna keep moving forward and say, it's time to release this negative energy because honestly, even though it may still get your gaw or dig your stomach, it doesn't really work. But the thing is this, you're a very practical person. So what I think happened is because you're so practical and pragmatic, you moved forward and you're like, you know what? I let, let bygones be bygones, bury the hatchet, or let's just move on from this. But the truth is your heart had not moved on and you didn't listen to it well enough. And that's why there are these things coming up during retrograde, like hearing their voice in your head or or not forgetting what somebody said and, and hearing it come up in conversations again or now you're being asked questions about this situation again, whatever it is, there's a sense of something keeps coming back to remind you of it and it wouldn't remind you of it. It wouldn't keep coming up, Taurus if you were really over it. And you're not, there, there was some emotional hurt here. And I think that you just buried it very deep. It's interesting that Scorpio, your opposite side sign is what came out. This sense of something, something was buried deep, something that was negative, something that was maybe shady, maybe underhanded, or maybe just painful and hurtful. And it was buried instead of addressed. Why? Because it wasn't practical. Because it's just like push on, move on, I can handle it. But no, you can't. This could also be a sense of release Pisces, Scorpio. I don't see cancer on the table yet, but there's a sense of maybe over like this this emotion, emotional energy that you've held on to and been stuck with could even reflect a person. Let's get into the details. Hmm. That's right guys. We've only just begun. What is this five of cups? Why is there so, such disappointment? Because the money didn't add up. Um, that's very clear. Or because money is unsure or unstable right now, especially with regards to any creative effort that you took a lead in. Now, this could be a person that you're working with, which would be a masculine fire sign and a leader somebody that's known in the industry, the industry, whatever industry they're in, I don't care if it's medicine, I don't care if it's art, I don't care. What I care about is they would be known as a master of it. Um, they take lead, they make a lot of things, they, they, they move things forward, they're creators, and they're successful at it. So this could be a person that you're dealing with, this could be trying to handle or deal with this, um, this fire sign at masculine, um, but there's a sense of, so there could be a dynamic in your relationship that's changed. Remember, Venus is square to Uranus, so it seems like somebody may be having some issues with how the relationship has changed because one person feels like they're kind of not bringing in any, any money or the money is coming in in a different way now and 
the re it's of impacting the relationship dynamic that could be but it could also be just a sense of no matter how hard you try no matter how hard you work it seems like the the most you get is a couple of steps ahead and then you take a couple of steps back so there's stagnation here it's like i'm not really getting anywhere i'm 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 sitting in the same place, either with this person or with this situation. With the situation would have been something that you created. And even though you're quite crazy about it and you expected that there was going to be a big influx of value that came from it, there's nothing. There, it, There's failure. There's, there's sort of, hmm, I don't know, just, I don't know why this didn't work out. Um, whatever it is, there's a sense of, what does Taurus need to do to get out of this situation? Temperance. What does that mean, though? What the f do you want them to do? You have to take action or go international. Or this is all with regards to you being able to go international and somebody sitting on either the finances aren't coming through or all the paperwork isn't coming through. And there's a sense of just go. <laughs> I know. I know, let's hold on. So this is Queen of Pentacles, that's you guys, that's a feminine earth sign. Um, right, once again, over the age of 35, somebody established and responsible and set, set into what, set in her ways as to happy birthday to Denny, what she wants, um, she's trustworthy, she's reliable. But temperance and knight of wands is here, why? Because it's almost like jump in. The only way to make this work out is to just go for it. A sense of, I don't care if it doesn't make any sense. I, I have too much motivation to, to stop myself. I want to just move forward. I want this to move forward. I need this to move forward. In order to be at peace with this situation, I need some progress on it. Oh my God. So just go for it. The moon card is here, but once again, there's still emotions. There's still just unknowns. Because you feel like your real opportunities were stolen or your real value was stolen. And maybe there is, there was some shady shit that was going on. Maybe, maybe because somebody just went ahead with something without you. That could be. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your voice and know. But there's a sense of somebody did something shady when it came to an opportunity. Somebody sort of swiped it right from out from underneath you. And it's because they just sort of head first went into it instead of waiting, right? They didn't, they didn't take time. They weren't responsible, but they just went for it. And there's a sense of, of joy and playfulness in what they did. And then here there's sort of like you feel robbed of it. Uh, I don't know if this is you or them. You can switch character roles, whatever you want. But, but there's, there's a sense of, yeah, somebody feels that there was shady shit that went on that stole some value from them. I actually took something or at least took an opportunity because of what went on under, in, behind closed doors. And, and there was a sense of acting, doing, but in silence or going out on your own. And maybe this is a solution to your problem, right? This sense of, I just got to do it on my own. I can't sit around and wait for their approval or for them to say yes to me. I just went ahead and I'm going to just move forward and do it on my own. Now, if any of you are dealing with copyright issues, I can tell you right now, this is how you're fucked. Because instead of waiting for the legal permissions, you just went ahead and did it on your own. And that will definitely be an irritation and will come up, especially as Venus grows closer to Saturn. And it becomes more obvious as to like right and wrong and the law and who did things the right process and procedure and mercury retrograde will like come up with all these things that maybe somebody tried to hide or somebody you know they didn't put things in right and so there'll be all these issues and all these problems that come up um in a situation that you would have rather preferred to stay low key it will it will be bigger than you wanted it to be um, I don't think this means that you guys are necessarily doing anything shady. It could just mean that you don't feel you're getting support for something. 
And so you have to proceed on your own without asking anybody's permission at this point. And I mean, listen, you got to do what you got to do. This is your life, right? Ain't nobody else's. <laughs> but ultimately, there will be the confrontation of that this week. The hanged man is here being stuck, not knowing what to do or not knowing how to move forward, um, waiting, or you've waited a long time, maybe a year. So this could have been in some ways, maybe for the last year, you've been trying to figure out what you're passionate enough about to move forward on. In which case, there will be some conclusions by the end of this week as to what you really want to bring into focus in your life and what you don't. This is the end of one chapter you've completed. You've completed your waiting period. That's what it's done. It's like, I'm done waiting. Even though the universe still wants me to wait, I'm done waiting. So I'm going to take the fucking initiative. Let's see what happens and what comes out of that. I will see you guys in the extended. Please do either click the link above or the link below. I'll see you guys there.